I think one of the best things about being an airsoft sniper is the reactions that people give you once you blow cover. Like say you get in behind enemy lines and you get hit and then you have your dead rag up and you're walking right by the firefight and people are like, how the hell did he get past us? It's time for a story. So this is Warhawk Milsom 2023 at Nighthawk Airsoft down in Ford, Washington. This year of the game, they added a new entity, a DMZ demilitarized zone, where you can't cross for about 10 minutes. And if you're a sniper and you're good at it enough, you can sneak past the refs and get past enemy lines, which is exactly what I did. I get past the DMZ and beeline it to the property line and try to conceal myself as best as I can to find the enemy's base. So at Nighthawk, you got the one side, which is the city, and then you got the other side, which is the Crucible. I had a good gut feeling that the Crucible was my target. Then radioed, confirmed by the CEO, that the enemy base was the Crucible. I passed probably about 30, 40 players crossing me uh, at about maybe 30 to 25 feet away, and I was not moving a single muscle. Even a sniper had a swivel on his head, and he was looking for targets. But it's like Call of Duty, take him out or let him pass. <laughs> So I got an update on my mission is to find the enemy CO. And the intel that they gave me is that he's wearing a green helmet. And everybody on the other team was wearing a green helmet. But I found this guy who was pacing with the radio and chatting on about. And I assumed that was the commander. Then the CO radios and confirms that is the commander. I make it up to about maybe 75 feet before I engage the target. I tried to take a few shots, but hitting a moving target is very difficult, and I missed a few times. Our buddy and organizer of the event was the ref on the enemy team, and he's not trying to make eye contact with me to give away my position, and he's just sitting, you know, standing there silently, and he told me that this, com this CO didn't notice the BBs wasn't by hitting branches, the building, etc. So the CO makes it behind a building, and I lost view of him, and, um... The other objective was to take out these two guys who were in a hazmat suit transporting a nuke. And their main focus right now is that they already transported the nuke and they're trying to get the hazmat suits off. That's all they care about. So without knowing, the enemy CO walks up by them while I'm trying to take pot shots at the um, hazmat suit guys. And I couldn't really see them, but I managed to hit the enemy CO. The enemy CO calls hit, the guys taking off the hazmat suits don't even beat an eye, and my buddy, the ref, walks over there and checks out what happened. He sees that the enemy CO's got his arm up, and uh, the hazmat guys are not even paying attention. Um, then they try to talk to the enemy CO, and the enemy CO replies with, I am, I can't, I'm dead. And they're like, wait a minute, did the, did the nuke go off? Or what, what happened? And so, uh, our buddy's like, no, the nuke didn't go off. But your commander's dead, but you're not, which that means, and he saw the gears turning in their head slowly to what just happened. So I'm still 75 foot away, just laying down, and um, I see the enemy CO run for the respawn right as my CO is like, uh, Sasquatch, satellite image confirms that you took out the enemy CO, can you confirm that? And I'm like, uh, oh yeah, he's running back to respawn, uh, mission accomplished. And then I hear, sniper, sniper. And about 10 guys swarm out to my position. And then eventually I'm taken out. But my team got points because I took out the enemy CO. But, I mean, a sniper's mission is to conceal himself, take out his target, and go back. So, in my book, it wasn't a complete success. But I'll take the points for the team any day. Um, so, yeah, I, I call hit. And everybody's fist bumping me. and like, bro, that was so cool. You made it past our enemy lines and stuff like that. And I'm like, yeah, man, hell yeah, good guy, MGGs, and, you know, the, the usual stuff. And so I'm walking through the middle of the firefight, dead rag in hand. I'm like, dead man walking, and everybody's like, what the fuck? Like, the enemy team's like, how the fuck did he get behind there, and stuff like that. So, yeah, no, it, it, it's stories like that that make the game exciting. And if you are ever interested in getting into the gameplay style of being a sniper in Airsoft, it is a fun experience. And it, it's a particular... It's an acquired taste of gameplay. You're rolling with a bold action, and you're trying to conceal yourself. But it's a lot of fun. Anyway, that's the sniper story with Sasquatch. Catch you later.